Hey everyone, in this video, you will see a couple of ways to do fuzzy string matching in NLP. So, fuzzy string matching is a technique of finding strings that match with a given string partially and not exactly. When a user misspells a word or enters a word partially, fuzzy string matching helps in finding the right word. For example, the kind that you see in uh, Google search. When we mis misspell a word in our search, uh, the Google search engine still finds a correct search result because it knows what exactly the word that we wanted to we wanted to mean. Uh, so the algorithm behind fuzzy string matching does not simply look at the equivalency of two strings, but rather quantifies how close two strings are to one another. And this is usually done using a distance metric known as edit distance this determines that is this edit distance determines the closeness of two strings by identifying the minimum alterations needed to do uh, to to be done to convert one string into another there are different types of edit distances that can be used like uh, levenstein distance hamming distance zero distance uh, etc and uh, for fuzzy string matching there are quite a few popular libraries in python uh, one of the most uh, popular one is this one, the fuzz. Another one is rapid fuzz. Uh, so this rapid fuzz is relatively newer library. And uh, for this video, I'm going to use uh, this one mostly. But first, uh, let's check out the differences of efficiency. That is code execution efficient efficiency uh, between these two libraries. So uh, first I'm just importing the fuzz library uh, like this in the first line and then I'm running a loop to do a fuzzy string matching between these two string a large cap stock and a large cap stock only difference between these two is here the large is in small letter and I'm running this loop 100,000 times so I have five zeros here and let's see uh, how long does it take. Okay, it took 2.19 second. So that was with the fuzz library. And now I'm going to import, uh, use rapid fuzz. So first uh, import it. And then I'm going to run the same exact same code that is exact same looping 100,000 of times. And let's run it. And you can see it ran almost instantly in 20.8 millisecond, whereas the first one ran 2.19 second. So that's why that's why I'm going to use rapid fuzz um, uh, for most part of this video and in my actual uh, day work as well. Whenever possible, I use rapid fuzz uh, because this is much, much, much faster. Uh, all right. Now some of the uh, basic usage of rapid fuzz and you can definitely check there, uh, check there this uh, main GitHub repository for references of uh, various methods they have and also their source code and uh, this is their official documentation the link of which is given in their github repository and they have uh, pretty good documentation uh, detailing each of the distances that each of the metric they have and like most of the uh, fuzzy string matching libraries uh, these uh, rapid fuzz also gives you various ratios to uh, get the significance of similarity between two strings and the first one that i'm going to look at is called partial ratio uh, so the partial ratio helps us to perform substring matching this takes the shortest string and compares it with all the substrings of the same length it finds a ratio similarity measures between the shorter string and every substring of length m of the longer string and returns the maximum of those similarity measures basically it searches for the optimal alignment of the shorter string in the longer string and returns the fuzz ratio for this alignment so here i have two string my name is rohan and my name is rohan paul only difference is this extra paul here in the second string and let's calculate the partial ratio by doing first dot partial ratio uh, what did I get? Okay, I did not run this cell and run it again. Yeah, we can say it's uh, it's a hundred, and that is full match. 
this output uh, of the code gives 100 as partial ratio just checks uh, uh, if either string is a substring of the other which is indeed the case here and this ratio could be very useful if for example we are trying to match a person's name between two data sets in the first data set the string has person's first name and the last name and in the second data set the string has the person's first name only or maybe the middle name uh, the ratio would be 100 because the first string is a substring in the second string all right now let's look at the second one which is token set ratio in token set ratio the strings are tokenized it compares the words in the string based on unique and common words between them it takes a set of all the tokens in the string and then compares it if string a has all the elements of string b the ratio will be 100 uh, let's see this quick example i have two strings string three and four and check the token set ratio between them and I got 77.41. Now, uh, let's check another example. That is this, um, this example. I have string 1 and string 2 defined like this. And I'm going to check. Let's comment out this one. I'm going to check uh, the token set ratio between str1 and str2. Yeah, in this case, I got 100. All right. Now, next one is uh, W ratio and the w ratio just calculates a weighted ratio based on the other ratio algorithms it depends on the number of times a word occurs order of the tokens etc and uh, i have got the simple example of two uh, strings I, and i can see that in the first one uh, these are you all right the e is missing uh, and there's also an extra space and let's run it to see yeah, I got 83.87 for W ratio between these two. And the next one I'm going to check is called the Q ratio. And uh, this one is very similar to fuzzy ratio. That is um, uh, the very top one, fuzzy dot ratio, except this, uh, uh, this one pre-processes the string before calculating the distance. So let's run it. And I got 83.87. And uh, this module is responsible for the type of various edit distances. And we already talked about edit distance, which is a measurement of how many changes we must do to one string to transform into another string that we are comparing it with. And under this module, I have a couple of measurement. One is called zero similarity or zero, whichever way it is pronounced. So uh, under this one, uh, two strings are normalized in this case and another distance measure or similarity measure under the metric module i have is called hamming distance uh, it describes the minimum amount of substitutions required to transform string one into string two for hamming distance one important factor is two strings need to be of the same length so i have um, these two strings uh one is slightly different than the other and let's check the uh, uh hamming distance between them and this is just uh, rapid fast dot string metric dot hamming and i got three and remember if i change slightly one of the string uh, adding an empty space and now if i run again i will get this value error sequences are not the same length all right that pretty much wraps up this video if you have liked this one smash the like button and also do subscribe because i'm going to do many interesting nlp projects over the coming days and weeks so see you in the next one thank you very much for watching